Okay, so this is uh, now another kind of problem we're going to do, which is calculating days run for given slip. Okay, so uh, in this situation, our uh, pitch is 19.7. We're turning 59 RPM, uh, almost 60 RPM, and they want us to calculate the days run with a with a, 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 a three percent negative slip. So what this is saying here is that. Um, uh, we're actually, uh, we must have a wind or current behind us because we have a negative slip. Um, but anyway, uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need the formula for engine speed. Okay. Um, so uh, our day's run, okay, a day's run is going to be equal to the uh, engine speed formula. Okay. All right. Which is the engine speed is nautical miles per hour. All right which is in knots times 24 hours in a day, okay? Um, and uh, uh, let's see, well, I'm having a little pencil problem here, aren't I? Uh, tw all right, times 24 hours a day times the efficiency, okay? Um, so uh, how is that whole formula gonna look for us? Well, engine speed is pitch times RPM times 60 over 6080. Okay, so that's a formula that hopefully you already know. And I'm going to convert that to, uh, that's going to be um, nautical miles per hour. And I'm going to convert that to uh, a day by multiplying by 24 hours. And then I have to actually put my efficiency in there, which is going to be 1 minus the slip. So that is the super formula that I'm going to use to calculate this. Okay. I have some other videos that show you where I derive this formula, but I'm assuming that you have the formula, you know how to derive it. I'm just going to show you the plug and chunk. Okay. So in order to solve this, I got to do all this. So let's do it. Um, so our day's run is going to equal our pitch. Okay. And as I do this, I'm going to put all the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the units in there and you'll see how everything cancels out. So our pitch is 19.7 feet per revolution times our RPM, which is 59.8 revolutions per minute, okay? Uh, and now I'm going to multiply that times 60 minutes per hour, which I need to do because I need to get my, uh, uh, my hour units, okay? Then I'm going to multiply that by one nautical mile for every 6,080 feet, okay? And that gets the feet away. So now I'm in a nautical miles per hour, all right, which is knots, okay, because engine speed is always knots. But I don't want it for just uh, one hour. I want now I got to go for 24 hours for a day. So now I'm going to go 24 hours per day. And now the hours are going to cancel. And what I have now is nautical miles per day, which is what they're asking me. But now, uh, the engine speed is a theoretical sp uh, speed that I should have uh, without any kind of slip. And slip is, again, our, um, either our loss or our gain. So it looks like we have a slip of uh, negative 3. So our efficiency is slightly over 100%. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go times 1 minus, and I'm going to convert the 3% back to a decimal by dividing by 100, point zero three but it's not point zero three it's negative point zero three okay so one minus negative zero point three becomes one point zero three so in essence what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply uh the whole thing by that so then my calculator now i'll go 19.7 times 59.8 times 60 times 1 times 24 times 1.03 divided by 6080 and when i do all that you'll get 287.7 nautical miles. And that is the answer for that.